So you have been asking for this video for three whole years. That was the last time I did a day in my life GoPro edition. And right now I am farm sitting, looking after all of the horses, all of the animals at my parents' farm. Um, so I thought I would finally do a day in my life GoPro edition. So it's now half six in the morning and I of course start my day by brushing my teeth. What else would you do? And I'm soon going to be making my way downstairs to look after all of the animals. Just a quick reminder that this is obviously my parents farm. I no longer live here. I lived here growing up obviously. Um, so yeah, I've basically moved in and taken over. So I speed downstairs and head into the darkness because it was really, really dark this morning. And the first thing I do is greet the doggies. That is Balto in the darkness somewhere there. And then let Ted out as well. Um, and the first thing I do is just let the dogs out for a wee and to wander around the garden. Balto normally goes and checks if there's any rabbits on the garden because that is his job. But Ted is obviously staying, um, Ted obviously normally doesn't live here, lives at home with me, but he's staying as well. So these two literally run out the door, taking the mat with them. Um, and I just keep an eye on them. And then on to business, and the most important part of my day is putting the kettle on for a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. And because it's so early, it is still quite cool outside and I'm in shorts. So of course I've got to pop a hoodie on. Well, and the first job of the day is to bring the dogs in and give them both their breakfast. They have these in separate rooms just so that they don't argue or fight about it because obviously Ted doesn't normally live here so I don't want to cause any arguments. And once the doggies are fed, it's time for me to speedily go down the garden um, to see to the small animals first. So first up is to feed Tallulah, again my little bunny. I say hello to the horses on my way down, normally shout them over so that they know that their breakfast is on its way. Um, but yeah, I go and see Toulouse, check she's got food, water, she normally tries to escape at this point. Um, so I need to swiftly close that door because otherwise I will never get that rabbit back. But she does go in and she had enough water and everything. So just gave her a little head scratch. And then it's on to getting the piggies food. Now I will just skip the darkness because it is very, very dark in here. Um, but basically I just grabbed the piggies food for them. And um, because it's going to be quite a warm day, this is our super fantastic way of keeping the half stable doors open by putting a broken broom there so that it stays open and Toulouse has got a nice breeze coming in. Um, it's all wired so nothing can get to her but she's got a breeze so that's that. So take this over and I'm actually going to let the chickens out and feed them first. The peas do have to wait a little bit which they're normally screaming at me by this point but this morning they were actually quite quiet. So then into the dreaded chickens and as you guys know me and the chickens we don't get on I am not a feathered fan. I just they're not for me. I love all animals But I would certainly pass up on keeping chickens myself So this is very much my dad's hobby now the chickens have a new feeding system where basically they used to be in these little like pots things to stop rats getting at them um, now we just cover them up an, on a night with this so I just have to check they've got enough food grain that it's all mixed together and okay and then I just have to put his little hat on and then let out the chickens so this is our smallest group of chickens and um, they'd move the house around so I was like where is the front and I can guarantee white cockerel is always out first he's actually quite friendly so i don't know if you guys remember but we used to have a cockerel that was just kind of like the killer cockerel and used to chase me and attack me which is probably why i don't like the chickens um but our new ones are quite friendly dad got three cockerels off facebook as you do as you do 
Um, so then on to the second group of chucks. These ones are a bit more flighty. There's a big orange cockerel in here. Um, so he tends to like wait until I've moved out of the way, as you can see. He's like, where are the crocs? Yeah, he's not a fan. Um, and then all the gillies come out after him. Luckily, all of the chickens have automatic waters, so I don't have to do anything with that. Literally just have to make sure that they've got some feed and that I've locked the gates because they're all from different sets. So yeah, the chickens are from like different groups that we've rescued. We rescue all of our chickens at all ex batteries, so they used to live in tiny, tiny little cages. Um, but now they are living the high life on the farm with lots of space and lots of things to do. And they are becoming more friendly. Like when they first come, they are literally petrified of you. Whereas now I walk in and get ambushed by them, which I'm not sure is actually an improvement. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give this group, because they're our largest group, some extra water just because with pecking order, literally, um, it's nice for them to have extra little places to go for a drink and we will feed the piggies as well. Are you going to the toilet, Prem? Yes, I'm going to call. Good morning, Primrose. Good morning. Morning, Pig. Morning, Pickle Pig. There you go, my dear. You're on a bit of a diet while my parents are awake because you two are fat. What is Chili doing? <laughs> and now it's time to feed the ultimate fatties. Hello, girlies. Good morning. One of these days, you're going to get yourself stuck in that game, just so you're aware. Now these fat sows do not get much at all. I don't think you actually need feeding, but look at all the grass in there. Yes. <laughs> Chunk says he identifies as a goat. I'm getting some food. Come on then, my girl is. Come on. Good girls, good girls. I know fatties, I know. But you do this every time. Don't up and puff at me. Just wait your turn. Come on here then. Good girl. So because those two are greedy and nasty, Daffodil gets hers separate, don't you, Daffs? Yes, you're a good goat. You're my favourite goat, aren't you? Otherwise they headbutt you, don't they, if you try and go to the trough. Now we put the last couple on the floor for you. Good girl, this is why you're so lovely. Yes, yes you are. Much nicer than those two meanies, aren't you? Here, sweetie. Daffs, yeah, that's my face. It's in there. Get the bit under grass. You've not become that much of a princess, you can't eat off the floor. Oh, morning, Snippies. Morning, gorgeous. Good morning, Charles. You got me for three days, mate. He says, oh no. That means I'm gonna be ridden. It does, I'm afraid. Hello. Kisses. Om nom noms. You can taste goat food. Can we see your pretty face? Come here. I'm not getting electrocuted. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. That's so beautiful. So it's important that all of the animals have fresh water. Every single one of them, apart from Tallulah the bunny and the dogs, have. Um, fresh running water so it's not too much of a concern but we give them all extra just in case I can't feed you soon ponies this is for the girlies 
because you knocked yours over yesterday, didn't you? Yes, you're not escaping. Nice try. Come on, gillies. Waters. There you go. It's just water. I apologise. So once all the farm animals have been seen to for the morning, I finally get to have my cup of tea that I boiled like half an hour ago. So yes, I did have to reboil it because if it's not piping hot, it's not a proper cup of Yorkshire tea. Um, so I make this and then I normally sit down and do a little bit of work for 10 minutes. Um, and then I will make my way upstairs to get changed for the day. <laughs> Tis a look. I hope you guys appreciate that I am literally spending the entire day with this on my head in 26 degrees today. But anyway, we're dressed. Let's go do some horses. <laughs> so I've got to put on my Ariat waterproof trainers. It's always dewy on the morning and wet feet is just not the one, but it's far, far too warm to be wearing wellies. So these are the best things in the world. I am literally living in these at the moment. And then I lock the house up and head round to the stables. Once I've unlocked the stables, it's straight to the feed slash tack room. Um, so three of our horses get fed in the morning, that's Chili, Snip and Taffy. Um, Chili gets fed because he gets Pyroton three times a day. Um, Snip gets fed because she gets Regumate in the morning and Taffy gets fed because he is literally ancient. So I just get, start getting everything ready. My mum has left me notes everywhere with what to do like I don't look after the horses and I, like I'm not on the yard every single day um but it makes her feel better when she's abroad so you know we'll just we'll ignore her um so this is Snippy and Taffs so I give Taffs a bit of a scrub brown because he basically gets a lot of sugar beets and other things that are soaked um and then we put a little bit of that in Snippy's because it just encourages her to eat the regume which is very much needed because last time she came into season Chili who is 17 hands literally tried to climb across three fences to get to her so I don't need a stallion in my herd um so she's staying on regume for the foreseeable um, and then this is Chili's concoction of drugs and medicines because if you didn't already know he has allergies and he's basically allergic to life so we have to pop some molasses in there otherwise he won't eat it because he has that many drugs so that's their feeds all sorted and I just pop some regumate and snippy as I said She needs a bit of water adding to that. So then I just prepare Chili's inhalers just by getting four sugar cubes ready for him. Um, and I pop everything on the wheelbarrow. The hay nets are already made up, thankfully. We have like a stable hand slash farm helper who comes um, and she actually does all of the hay nets now and the poop king, which is phenomenal because it means I can actually get some work done as well as look after the horses. And then I just pop all the fly sprays and grab all of their fly masks to go on them. Um, certain ones have fly masks, certain ones have different fly masks, it, it gets very complicated. But basically, I know whose is whose. <laughs> and we just stick it all in the barrow, which is like Mount Everest, and such a balancing act to try and get this down to the field. Thank you. 
So these ones we just give hay to and then come back and spray. Because the aim of the game is to get everyone a hay net pretty sharp is before they kick off. D. Good morning, Goose. Good morning, Lucy Gooses. Right, let's have a look. This is yours that you've absolutely destroyed. I'll spray you on the way back. Good morning, princess. Good morning. Can I have your ears? <laughs> oh dear, mom. I think we'll have to get you a new one, don't you, Lulu? Come on, I'll get you a nice wolf wear one. Come here, come here, come here. I'm not moving over the fence. Your eyes on. Come here. <laughs> you are such a good girl. <laughs> Give her a hay. I'll spray you when I get back, my darling. Got grumpy to do first. Oh. Here we go. Chill chaps. Good morning. Good morning, grumpy man. So skipping forward slightly, but basically Chili has his inhaler first thing. Um and he was kind of like choking on something this morning. I don't know what he was doing. I was like, please do not die on the first day that I am looking after you all. Thank you. But once he stopped choking, he could then actually have his feed. And I did check. There wasn't anything in there. There wasn't anything stuck. He literally just spat the sugar cube out at me. Um, so he gets a feed and then he also gets a hay net emptied. But we're going to quickly move on to the others because otherwise we'll be here all day. You got to have this on. Oh no. Come here. You're not having that until you've got this on. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Come here. Daniel. Then it's on to Taffy who has his fly mask on and I have to pull the nose up so that he can eat without that getting in his way. And actually my GoPro died before I could do Snip and Charles. So fast forward to <laughs> heading back up to the stables because I'd actually forgotten to put Charlie's sun cream in there. But I'd fed Snip, sprayed her and um, taken her rug off because she has a really, um, sweet itch rug on a night and um, been to go and grab Charlie's sunscreen. Good boy. Yes, I know. It's because it stops you eating momentarily, doesn't it, my man? Good boy. You do do. Good lad. Come here. All of the cream. Beautiful. Good boy. So then I just have to spray the girls that we didn't Hello. do earlier and spray, 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 grab spray, spray, everything spray, spray, spray. together to take up to the stables and I will sort their feeds out ready for later. So once the horses are done, it's not time for me to rest just yet. I actually need to go and take the dogs for a walk um, before it gets too hot, especially for Ted because he just cannot cope in the summer heat that we're currently getting. And then it's back to the house with the doggies. I, of course, put the kettle on for another cup of tea and it's time to get some work done. So it's starting to get a little bit warm now. So I'm gonna head down and spray the piggies because as you guys may or may not know, pigs don't sweat. So they wallow in mud to cool themselves down. And when on days like today, it's forecast to be 26 degrees, um, possibly 28 later, it's important that the piggies have water and mud to wallow in. So that's what we're gonna do first thing. Have I got to come to you? 
Do you want to shower or not? Yeah, you do want to shower, see? Oh, is it going to do it? We'll leave that there to fill up a bit. Where's my piggy? Where's my piggy? There's my piggy. Hello, gorgeous man. Hello, gorgeous man. But not really, Mum. Don't really want to be sprayed. Oh, ah, oh, there must be a kink. Let's see if we can. There we go. You just don't like it on your head. I have just spotted a rare sight. Oh, it's tired, princess. Oh, hello, baby girl. Is you snoozing? Is you? Is you snoozing? Hello, darling. Oh, you tired. So after having a sip with caramel for a little while and then going back in and getting some work done, it was time to make myself some lunch, just a sandwich and some juice. And I'm going to actually sit in the sunshine for a little while because honestly, even when it's such a lovely day like this, I do end up spending most of my time sat on my laptop working. Um, so I thought I'd bring the doggies out with me and they do have to stay in the shade because it is far too warm for Frenchies and really fluffy dogs like Polto. So they're going to stay in the shade while I have my lunch. And after my lunch time, it's time to go around and give the horses their lunchtime hay nets and feeds. So head round back to the stables. And the first job is to prepare the feed. So Taffy's feed's already soaked, I just need to give it a stir and then add a bit of water into chilies as well. And these are the only two that get lunchtime feeds. At lunchtime, all of the others get hay nets, but I literally just have to feed them. I don't have to fly spray them or put any more sunscreen on because that'll last until this evening. So, yep, grab the hay nets and head down to the field. So once the horses were done for lunchtime, I headed back to the house and you guessed it, I did some more work on my laptop, I did some editing, got some work done for some of my clients and then I decided that as it was such a hot day and because Chunk is in need of a bath that I would bring him up and give him a bath today. A because it'll help him cool off and B because I really wanted to start sorting his feathers out. So I brought him in to the stables and picked out his feet, gave him a quick room and brushed through his feathers. Chunk has just got all of the feather. He is a big furry hairy cob. Um, so yeah, there's a lot to get through. I am just going to be giving him a quick bath today because I don't have a huge amount of time. But at least we can start sorting these feathers out because they are a bit of a mess at the moment. <laughs>
So one chunk has had a thorough clean and a bath, then it was time to hose him off. This is actually the part that takes the longest with Charles, I think because he's got so much hair and such a long mane and such a long tail, it takes me forever to hose him off and make sure I've got all of the bubbles and everything out. Um, and then I turned him out and he was fully aware he was more than likely to go out and roll but I thought I'll just turn him out he had a little bit of grass on the way down and of course had to go and say hello to Snip because you literally cannot turn Snip or Charlie out without the other one coming to say hello and to check if you've got treats or not. So the rest of the afternoon was spent working and then I decided I needed to learn my dressage test. So I have two dressage tests coming up, an intro and a prelim. I've never um, taken Snip out to a prelim before, um, so having two tests to learn for one day is a bit of added pe pressure. Um, so I sat <laughs> at the kitchen table and literally drew out um, my tests until I thought I knew them and then I thought I'd bring Snip up and we'd have a little bit of the practice. There's nothing in there for you. They're empty. She says, oh, well, that is rubbish. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Go on then, go for your wheeze. Are you just eating here? Oh. I'm gonna give you a quick room tonight, my dear. It being a late ride. Oh my darling. Come on, go wee wees. If you were any bigger snippy, I just would never get your saddle on. There we go. Where's that come from? Come on. A bit dusty today. What camera? And stand. Good girl. You always like starting on the right rein, don't you? You know, stand up while do you guess? Stand. Undone me boot. Good girl, Snippy. Good girl, come. So, as always, we started with a lot of walk work and then started our warm up. Um, because Snip's still growing, strengthening, not growing, but growing her muscle and strengthening since her surgery and everything. We work long and low to begin with and then we start taking contact as we go through. Um, and then today we are going to be working on quite a bit of circle work to get her nice and supple and ready for her dressage and also a bit on her cancer today. Um, she's feeling really nice at the moment so I'm hoping that dressage is going to go well if I can remember my test because I'm one of those people that if someone actually um, calls my test out for me then I get more distracted so I have to know my test to be able to ride it. I can't have a caller, it just confuses me even more. Being a little bit lazy my dear. Never walk is, otherwise I'll never keep you in cancer. Good girl. What are you doing? 
So we come down, round, circle, walk, round, 10, 10, walk, trot, uh, round, circle, walk, long grain, trot, up, down, hold at. Now, walk at X, hold at G for this one, snippers. We just hear a canter on this road, and then we'll ride it. Trot into it. Good girl. Good girl, snip. And get down. Good girl. So I have no idea how we went from that to this, um, but that is how much my GoPro decided it filmed. Um, so then we had a really good session actually. I remember the test, which I thought I didn't know. Um, I'd even put on Instagram like, guys, help me learn a test, like what are your tips? And then I got on and I was like, I know this test. What? Like I literally just drew on it out a few times. So that went well and then it was, I brought Snip in and did her usual routine of taking off all of her tack and wiping her down. Um, she was a really good girl so I was really proud of it and she was actually a little bit lazy which is not normally like Snip. She is normally, I call her my little sports car, like you get in there and she's like ready and raring. You got to be washed off, it's warm. Stand up or I'll tie you up. Darling, there we go. All right, who foils? Hoofy hoofies. Make sure you've not got nothing in those feet, sis. Come on, up. Oh. What is it with you and not wanting to lift that? moist on because we've run out of Kevin Bacon. Put it down darling. So I make sure that all of Snip's hoofs get some moisture on them and some hoof oil and then I give her a fly spray down and I'm going to pop her sweet itch rug on for the evening so she has this on at night because we are prone to midges at home. And actually I found a sweet itch rug is much better than a fly sheet for snip. Um, so this is what she had on in the evening. And then I am going to turn around now back to the field so she can dry a little bit of grass and then come back up and arrange all the feeds to feed the horses for this evening. So it is literally feeding time at the zoo. Luckily all of the feeds are prepared earlier. So they, my mum actually put them all in little bags um, while she's been away so I've literally just had to empty them out into the various feed buckets. Um, some of them have been pre-water added, pre-soaked is the word I was looking for, <laughs> pre-soaked. Um, so I'm just doing the morning ones now so these are the ones that need pre-soaking on an evening for tomorrow morning so I do those first because otherwise I do genuinely forget so that's just me adding some soaked alpha alpha pellets to chilies for his morning feed with all his meds and everything else and the purple one that I've just done is taffy's because obviously taff is an old boy now he doesn't have many teeth so everything he has is basically um just soaked and stuff he can easily get down in and then it's on to the normal evening feeds um, and then we just add a little bit of water to each one um, and then 
pop it with the hay nets and they're ready to go down to the field for tonight. There you go, madam. So each of the horses gets their feed and a hay net. Now, Caramel and Lucy, I just pop their hay nets on the fence for now. I will be emptying them. We don't leave any of our horses with hay nets in the field because I just don't like them being left with them. They're there's a chance of getting legs stuck and things like that so we just empty all of the hay nets but because I come back and spray these two once I've done the others we can do it a little bit backwards but it basically I just have to try and feed all of the horses as quickly as possible because trust me when you've got seven and they're all waiting for their feed um they lose patience quite quickly so this is just a bit of a quicker way of getting them all done um, because like for example Chili with his inhaler it all takes a little bit longer when you get to the other end so these two I just quickly chuck their feeds in give them the hay nets and off we go come here grumps come here come here thank you chill bub there's your tape mm -hmm. I'll be with you in a minute, Daniel. Good boy, chill. I don't think that's Danny, I think that's Snip. Naughty ponies. You don't like that, do you? Well, come here then. You get taken off, don't you? Yes, Tiff, I've heard you. Go on then. Just chuck that in. There you go, my man. So is my man. Oh man, come get it, my big man. Dying of starvation, aren't you, my girl? We need a bigger gap. I'm coming, Charles. I'm coming. That's hers. That's yours. Hello, my darling. There you go. And so guys, that is basically the end of my routine. Every one of the horses is fed, sprayed, given their hay net for the night. Um, and annoyingly, my GoPro died. The only other thing that I do is take all of the buckets up to the stables and clean them and put them away. Um, and then it's literally just putting the other animals away later on and having tea. That is the rest of my day. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have. Obviously, I did film this like later summer and we're already into autumn and my routine has already changed from this so do let me know if you want to see that don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you all soon for another video bye guys